guys literally sound like, like, abuse victims, right? So I would say this game is for somebody they have no family, Bye, bitch. no friends, Bye, bitch. no life. Bye, bitch. I'm not sorry, I don't like Elden Ring players, they're nasty people, the players are losers. And you want to literally just start rolling with all these claims and accusations? Literally living up to every gamer stereotype that you could possibly imagine. And you want to literally prove my point by being that literally loser. You're, you're literally like a shut-in loser, loser that like does this. And these people are literally like, bro, like they are literally scumbags. They Like literally the textbook definition of like a bad human being. Like, you know, you want to sit there and you want to act like I'm some bad human being, you can get bent, dude. Look at you. Literally look at what you're doing. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Maybe that's why you don't have a ring on your finger. Maybe that's why your kids aren't around. Because, because maybe there's something wrong with you. At the end of the day, go kill yourself. Because man. maybe there's something wrong with you. A game that's not for everyone isn't the game that should be made. Maybe opinion. there's something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Literally, look at what you're doing. Maybe there's something wrong with you. So let's talk about something a little bit more important. This is actually super important. Uh, more so than what we've been doing on the Swedish stuff. This is really important. Uh, this is big. This is big stuff. I'm not. I'm not making it up. It's big. It's it's going. It's a really bad precedence going forward with the YouTube content creator community. You're probably wondering why I'm talking about. YouTube has had some growth problems. We went through the adpocalypse and, you know, they went through the actual community guidelines and basically tightened them up a little bit. But did they? Did they? The reason why I'm saying this is there are, there are channels that get away with this stuff. Nothing happens to them. Okay, especially the bigger channels. Now, this doesn't make a lot of sense to me because one channel has well over a million followers and the other one only has a little bit over 60,000. You probably want to just spit it out, man. Okay, so we're talking about the Act Man as well as Quantum TV. If you guys don't know about the Act Man, Act Man has been around for maybe seven, eight years on the platform. He has a gaming channel with some really well researched content. It's funny to watch, and you might have learned some things along the way. He gets actually calls out some of the bad business things that's going on with gaming, rather be microtransactions or you know putting out buggy shit games. And he talks about these things. He's really good at it. Really good at it. And there has been some drama with a channel called Quantum TV. Now, I don't know a whole lot about Quantum TV. Aside from what I've seen from the Act Man as well as Rich from Review Tech. And there's a few other channels that I've seen things about this on. Now, this channel, actually, Quantum, came into light when he was abusing the copyright strike system against a smaller YouTuber that was using his content as transformative in a fair use way, but he still copyright struck the smaller YouTuber. And usually a lot of the times the YouTube partners or YouTube will side with a bigger channel, which doesn't make a lot of sense because the act man has, like I said, over a million followers. And for some odd reason, the act man is getting punished really bad. And I'll tell you what happened. So the act man made a few videos about quantum kind of calling him out on the things he's done, like, you know, going after LGBTQ community, uh, telling his viewers to go kill themselves, uh, ban, ban evading stuff like that. And the act man had a lot of proof. He's shown, he had the evidence. He's shown it off. And he actually made a second video after the verdict on the quantum TV case, YouTube basically found him 100% innocent of everything. And th so what does that mean? It means YouTube's not enforcing their own community guidelines. And that's bad. That's really bad. But somebody can get away with this thing. Now, I don't know if quantum TV is monetized. I don't know if he's demonetized. But, but what happened to the act man was whenever he made the second video that basically thrown all the evidence out there. 
let it all be seen. It was really well put together. It's about an hour long almost. And it was a lot of stuff. There's a lot of shady shit that Quantum TV's done in the past. Well, for some odd reason, YouTube decided to take that video down, stating that it has sexual content within it. Now, that kind of sucks. He said it was, let's see, sexually explicit content. And there was actually two other videos on his channel that got demonetized and age-restricted. Just for Act Man calling out Quantum TV, this starts to happen to the Act Man. Well, not only that, today, three hours ago, his YouTube partner reached out to inform him that at some point he will be removed from the YouTube partner program and his channel will be completely be demonetized. That doesn't make a lot of sense. The fact that the act man shown the proof, a lot of people shown the proof of Quantum TV, of what he's been doing, and the community guidelines are completely broken. So basically what's going on, what's happening here Quantum TV is getting away with it, and the Act Man is basically losing his channel. Basically. I mean, his channel will still be there, maybe, but it's not getting monetized. Which sucks, because he's he's a good content creator. He's been around for years. He's worked his ass off and shit. But it just sucks that we have channels like that that can get away with basically anything. Who's to say, you know, somebody worse than Quantum TV comes around? And we've seen worse than Quantum TV. We talk about it all the time. But what's next? What can you get away with on YouTube now? Now that there's a president sent down here that Quantum TV can basically do whatever he wants make all the crazy comments he can, possibly can about the LGBTQ community, telling people that watch his videos to go kill themselves. I mean, what what else is it? Is he going to have to actually commit murder before they do something? Which, he, you know, just the way he done things with the Act Man, by doxing his family as well as calling his own, calling the Act Man's mother to basically tattletale on the act man for making a video about him. Now, there's a lot of people after Quantum TV right now. There's a lot of people. And I think, you know, you guys as viewers should take a look into this. This is bad. This is bad news. This is bad news for anybody, especially if you're starting a YouTube channel. This is bad. This could bring bring back the Adpocalypse Part 2. I'm not I'm not trying to be a doomer, but that's a good possibility. If YouTube is allowed to allow that content on on the platform while it's pretty much like disobeying any type of community guidelines, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. The Yakman doesn't deserve this. He doesn't. He doesn't. I don't think any YouTuber really deserves deserves it. I'm not saying take down Quantum TV, but I think it should be fair. I think they, YouTube should go back and be like, hey, yeah, we really screwed up. We really screwed up here. Quantum TV did some egregious things. Okay, let's 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 suspend him or remove him or demonetize him. Not do that to the act man for showing what he has done. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. I don't know why he's getting punished for the actions of Quantum TV. That's basically what's happening. That's basically what's happening. And like I said, it's bad for any content creator going forward. I just hope that YouTube comes back and he's like, hey, yeah, we screwed up. Maybe there'll be enough public outcry from the Act Man's followers as well as other channels, maybe to get YouTube's attention and be like, hey, this is bad. This is bad. And you know, I if if you see a channel that's doing these egregious things, 
Don't be afraid to call it out. Don't be afraid to report them. Don't be. If you're a YouTuber and you're making content about another YouTuber, it's mostly fair use unless you're just literally just taking the clip, playing the clip, and putting nothing to it. If you just take a video and just put it on your channel without any content or transform of the stuff there, that's 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 not good. You know, stuff like we do when we have clips of you know things and we go in and we talk about them that is transformative that is fair use the thing like if you see channels don't be afraid to report them especially if you see things like he you know his twitter history where he's saying these terrible things about the lgbtq community Ugh. i always hate saying that because i get tongued lgbtq too many letters but anyways too many letters. I get my tongue tied. But he said a lot of bad things about these people. Awful things. And you can look up the history. He said he actually got hacked a while back. Like all of his everything got hacked. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, PlayStation, Xbox, his mom, everything got hacked. This is a long time ago. And they said he, the hacker put all that stuff in there. That's That's quite... The convenience I think but I think if you guys have a chance if you get a chance I'm not saying go and report his channel speak up with YouTube you know if you have YouTube support or if you want to contact YouTube on Twitter or make a report reach out to them let them know hey He's breaking community guidelines, obviously. And you're punishing the wrong person. It's awful. It's awful. My channel is really, really small. And I'd hate to lose my channel just because somebody like Quantum TV or Sweetie, to be, you know, honest. But I hope you guys at least take a look into this. I just wanted to call it out. I don't know... I'll probably follow up on it. Um, I, I didn't want to make a huge video about this. Uh, I kind of want to just talk about some things and what I think about it. And I just think it's dirty. I think they're doing the act man dirty really bad. And I think it should, it should be fixed. It should be fixed. Honestly, it should be. There's no reason why this should happen at all. No reason whatsoever. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you soon. I uh, hope you guys give this video a chance. Uh, like I said, I know it's not Sweetie content, but this is really, this is more important than Sweetie content. This is big. This is really big. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.